I'm Kristen Oviedo, and this is how to determine the density of a liquid in grams per centimeter cubed. So we're going to start by defining what density is. Density is a measurement of mass over a certain volume. So basically how much stuff you have packed into a certain space. And there's all kinds of density measurements out there. But uh, we're just going to assume for this problem that you've been given, uh, let's say, the density of a liquid in kilograms per meters cubed, which are standard uh, SI units. And let's say that you want to convert from that. So you're going to look up your conversion factors. You're going to find that there are 1,000 grams in a kilogram. And in one meter cubed, there's 10 to the 6 or a million centimeters cubed. So from there, it's basically uh, just multiplication. So let's say, again, that your problem gives you 1,000 kilograms per meters cubed uh, for your liquid's density, and then they ask you to find it in uh, grams per centimeter cubed. So you're going to start out by writing what you're given. So that's 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. And then it's, I find it easier to write down what you're trying to end up with on the other side of your little equal sign. So you're trying to end up with grams here centimeter cubes there, and then your unknown number there. So you're going to play around with these conversion factors so that your units all cancel out and leave you only with grams up here and centimeters cubed there. So this, these conversion factors can be flipped back and forth. You could just as easily say there's one kilogram per thousand grams instead of the way I have it written here. But I actually wrote it that way because I want my grams to end up on top and I want my kilograms to be on bottom so they'll cancel. So I'm going to write that conversion factor just the way I have it up there. So that's me just converting kilograms to grams. Now I'm going to convert my meters to cubic centimeters. So same deal here. I want my centimeters cubed to be on the bottom and my meters, uh, sorry, cubed to be on the top so that they cancel. Awesome, and now it's just a big party of crossing things out. So you got meters cubed on top and bottom, you got kilograms on top and bottom, so then you're gonna multiply these numbers together. So a thousand times a thousand is a million, or 10 to the sixth. And then we've got one and then 10 to the sixth down there. Bring that over. And so you've got 10 to the sixth on top and bottom, cross them out, and you're left with just one gram per centimeter cubed. This is one of those situations where unit cancellation is really going to help you out a lot because this whole thing can get confusing. But if you start with what you're given and just write what you're trying to end up with on the other side, all you've got to do is just flip your conversion factors until you get everything to cancel but what you want. And this will work for any units you're trying to convert from. I chose you know, kilograms per meters cubed, but it could be anything as long as you can find the appropriate conversion factor. So I'm Kristen Oviedo, and that's how to determine the density of a liquid in grams per centimeters cubed.